mechanic uh, magic like um, like electricity. I just don't understand it very well. Can you hear me? Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Please come to Hotel Krat, and I'll explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. So let's see, we got an equipment section, we got an upper and lower belt, extra bags. Always could use extra pockets. Always. Oh my word. So let's see, we got usable items, material, functional items, weapons, blade and handle, the legion arm, defense parts, amulet, costume, gestures, and collectibles. Holy smokes. That is wild. That's like 12 different tabs for stuff. I'm excited about that. Character info. Okay, so yeah, we have the abilities. Vitality, Vigor, Capacity. Motivity. Technique and Advance. Interesting. We got to all of our defense and damage reduction stats. So yeah, very Dark Soulsy here. Common abilities. So yeah, our HP, Stamina, Legion... Fable slot and guard regain. So we're gonna kind of have to learn what some of this is. Uh, but man, so, oh yeah, what was at the top? Oh, required ego. It must be your souls. I guess up at the top there. Settings. We already went through all that, dude. Dude, man. Oh, looks like you have two weapons, two amulets, and then four defense parts. And then, uh, Legion, uh, your, your arm probably can change along with three little things on the left there. That'll be interesting. Dude. Yep. Gonna enjoy this game. Gonna die a lot, but that's okay. Can I, uh, ooh. Let's get you out of there. Find something that might help. Dude, it's dark. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have turned it down that much. Didn't turn it down too much. But the Ooh, streets a weapon. Are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. Well, I love the I love the game. It's It'll giving me a weapon. Your way to the hotel. Uh, let's see. Balance, dexterity, or strength. Uh, I'm a strength guy, so that's where I'm going. We'll see how this works. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, we'll try the strength build. Let's see, we got guard. Interesting. Dash, dodge, and then my extra bag. Oh, yeah. And then switch weapon. Which I don't have a spare weapon, but... Nah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay.
Golly, yeah, it is pitch black. Didn't seem like I can crouch at all. Man, honestly, things are looking pretty good. Look at the shimmer of that. That is impressive. Man, that looks great. Lighting's good. You can tell through textures what's wet, what's metal, leather, wood. It all has different... You can even see the grains in the wood. That is awesome. Welcome to Croft Station, everyone. A pulse cell. Covers HP. There's a maximum number to obtain pulse cells. There is a maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cells will gradually recharge. That's nice. So it's still motion blur a little bit. I'm going to turn that off just a tad. See if that helps. Yeah, actually that does help some. That's one. A robotic. I guess so am I, mostly. I'm a puppet after all. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying the dr the graphics here. The graphics are really nice. I'm not even sure what I did. Must have been some kind of parry thing. Okay. take care of you first. Absolutely. That was quick. Nice going. Looks like just one. Something big, though. Criticals, nice. Oh, wow. Constable's not being paid enough. Dang. I'd be stressing out, too, if I was a cop. Ah, 
I pushed the wrong button. I'm always pushing the wrong button. The waiting room. Oh yeah, that's the constable. Nice. Oh, handy. <laughs> it's nice you actually get uh, something to show you that uh, that you can do a critical. That was successful. <laughs> Doing good. Maybe it just doesn't break up. Let's see. Keystone Express, Star Regional, E36. Intercity, Star Regional, Atlantic, EC, Blue Ferry. Interesting. Final Street. Hmm. What an interesting world. So far, everything's just robotic. I'm assuming these are dead bodies. Oh yeah, there's blood everywhere. Durr. See, all the machines are alive. I look like a human, but I got a robotic arm. Yeah, these people got mutilated. Oh yeah, Al. Hold on, bro. Hold on. get behind this guy. Oh. Oh. He blew right through that. Dang, that sucks. <laughs> now lying. That's pretty good. Yeah, re reminds me a lot of um, Steel Rising, which came out, uh, I want to say, last year. 
I gotta start all the way over. Hmm. Cool. Let's see, let's try to get my souls back. Man, he's beating my can. You're trash, bro. I want to live! Alright. Just gotta be a little more aggressive. I got the key. Oh, I broke my blade. Oh, man. Oh, that sucks. Let's see, can I fix that? <laughs> uh, uh, yes, it is broke. Boy, the durability goes quick. So yeah, you're gonna have to have two weapons. You, I mean, you won't have a choice. I got a couple thousand. Can I do anything with it? Man, I kind of man. Ooh, that is really crappy. It doesn't look like I can fix anything at the bench. Wow, yeah. Dude. That's gonna be horrible. You'd think I'd have something. Let's see, restore it. Repairs weapon durability. Okay. Wow, yeah, that's wild. Okay, let's see. Let's practice using my belt. Probably, 
Probably not after it's frickin' broke. <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna do anything. Oh my goodness. I don't know how to fix it. Let's see, what else do I got here? Grinder. Let's see. The weapon will be destroyed and cannot be repaired. Uh, this beautifies to keep an eye on the durability. Oh, man. Dude, that sucks. Yeah, that's it. Dude. Yeah, I'm in big trouble. I didn't even think about that. Well, time to get killed, man. Ooh, nice. Okay, so here's our bonfires. Our uh, points of grace. This is called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lent my power to this stargazer for a moment... Gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. Yeah, man. Frick. Oh. Oh, boy. Let's see. So it ups my stamina a little. Okay. Guard regain. So yeah, very much like like Dark Souls. I mean, but I love these games, so. And they're still creative with stuff, which is nice. Put that up to six. I can do one more. Now I'm broke. Hey, cool, my weapon's fixed. Dude, that's gonna save my butt. Man, that was ridiculous. Oh, pardon me. Anybody else? Boy, yeah, they're quiet. The enemies are quiet. Ambience, there's wind and rain and... Um, yeah, if you're not careful, you can have enemies sneak up on you, no problem. I'm gonna wanna read this. There we go. 
the cornerstone of origin. Wow, yeah. A puppy! We love puppies! Man, graphically the game's pretty nice. So far too, most of the animations have been pretty good. Um, I mean, I'm more or less trying to just stay alive, but, uh, not oh, frick. One behind me? Yeah, of course. Yeah, so, so, so far the animations seem good. They seem to mesh pretty well. Overall, I haven't necessarily found any complaints. Oh yeah, good. Holy smokes. Oh yeah, let's uh, grind her up, baby. Perfect. Yeah, I don't want to forget that again. The Crack Ground ex Exhibition has been delayed. That decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy has been recently paralyzed. Uh, the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. So until it's under control. The occurrence began in Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. Oh my goodness. While the issue, while the cause is still unknown, a number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop, can't even pronounce that, and the company, Kratz's largest puppet factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. So they don't even know why they just started going crazy. Task Force is investigating the possibility of fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop's puppets. However, this is no quick solution as of now, with the puppet frenzy creating more casualties. As the city braces for a resurgence of the petrification disease, the citizens are advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Krat Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. Petrification disease. Man, what a mess. Something crazy went on here. Yeah, I think that's generally everything. Okay. Yeah, that's horrible.
Yeah, personally, I wonder what happened. This is such a mess. They had an implementation of puppets. They were supposed to work as servants. And, uh... Nothing's working right. Everything's going to crap. Kind of makes me think of AI. I mean, I remember going to uh, Disneyland quite a long time ago, and Honda actually had their, like, multi-hundred million dollar robot, Osimo. And that was insane to watch. The idea was literally to have a servant in the home. And uh, it could go upstairs, it could jog, it could take phone calls, it could order things for you, set reminders. Um, it could uh, pick up things and, and uh, generally put things away. But yeah, it was nuts. Just think if... Um, if you know robots, their programming went haywire. Or like we're talking about now, AI. I mean, we have been integrating in with AI and, and working on it for quite some time. Uh, for the last, you know, 30 or 40 years. Since computers, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's unreal to think what AI is even capable of today. And where they're trying to take it. Quantum computing is here. We got 5G now. Um, and, uh, yeah, they, we have a true AI where a program can rewrite its programming and learn. Okay. Use Blade Fable Arts while guarding. Press handle. Okay, weapon. Have distinctive blades and handles that each have their own Fable Art. Fable Art. Use up Fable slots and... Okay, so that's what those are on the bottom right. Different art. Charge available slots by attacking enemies with weapons. Okay. Guess we get to try this guy. Oh, yeah. Make you swing. Yeah, he still plows through me, piece of crash. Ooh. Fine. Fine, then. Yeah, some of them are gonna be a problem. Just still. Yeah, the future of AI is coming. And uh, we already have some basic AI that aren't completely independent yet. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. That must be it. Hotel Crot. Yeah, what, what do I think about AI? I don't know. Good and bad. I mean, depends how you use it. How it's regulated, how it's implemented. And you're always going to have people that are going to use it for bad, and others that are going to use it for good. So. Ooh, that's not good. Run, boy. Run, run, run. Stay alive. Stay alive! This ain't good. I'm stuck. Oh crap. Don't mind me.
Ooh. I'm guessing I know what that is. If I break it. Emergency repair tool. Immediately restores weapon durability. I guess that's an extra piece of the puzzle I didn't even think of. Do have an extra weapon? Now, oh, come on. Give me a break. Just trying to live. One thing we didn't see is we didn't see a difficulty. So again, that's matching Dark Souls, Elden Ring, Sekiro. It's just, the difficulty is what it is. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully you can figure it out. Hopefully you can get there. This is a single player game though, there is no multiplayer. So, you're either going to be able to do it or not, ultimately. And nice. We made it. Open the sesame. A powerful parade puppet is blocking the entrance, and that's the only way in. So please be careful. Yeah, I ain't falling for that trash. <laughs> wow, the uh, health on this is insane. That's cool. Dude. I'm liking that. This thing has so much health. Oh my word. It just gets itself back. Interesting. Who is this? Hello there. Welcome to Karat, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. That's me. Buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Out here alone? What do we got? A wintry, stormy step and guard parry. Huh, so they kind of come in kits, looks like. So, electrical damage. Well, I think that's what I'm using. 
the great sword. Technique is a B, though. Having, well, having two weapons, though, would be uh, pretty nice. I think I'll do a balanced. I'll have two. Oh, I can only do one at all oh, men they're disposable. That sucks. Oh well. Such is life. Let's equip my other weapon. <laughs> that is cool. No, it's got an eight. Yeah, the durability mechanic is kind of cool. I gotta say, I like it. Must be our first boss. Fat fatal. Fatal. It'd be interesting if that was actually like an Italian word. Or French, or wherever this is. Oh my goodness. Okay. Battle's on, baby. Battle's on! That's not good. Now. No, I'm gonna die. I'm... I'm Frick. Nah, bug off. That's gonna kill me, no doubt. Doing good. Oh my word. Yeah, that's going to suck. Yeah, one thing that is definitely screwing me up is that I'm I'm used to... Oh, man, i got to start all the way back here. I'm used to Dark Souls and Elden Ring, where you can guard and move at the same speed, whether you're guarding or not. And in Liza P, you can't. If you're guarding, you're slowed way down. And, um, yeah, that's going to be tough. That is going to be tough. Well, let's see. I'm going to put. I'm going to end it right there. I think pretty close. So far, pretty good. I mean, I'm actually. I'm excited for this game. The demo is running well. 
the graphics are good. I'm not seeing any uh, anti-aliasing issues or breaks in the frames, which is good. It's staying at a pretty consistent frame rate, too. Um, it is a little better when you're in a small room or you're up against a wall and you're looking at the corner of a wall or something like that. The frame rate goes up a little bit. Uh, but overall, it still runs actually pretty smoothly. Smoothly, I'm not um, not seeing any issues with animations. There's no crashes so far, which is a good sign. Uh, the story is engaging. It's interesting. They tell you just enough to kind of get you curious. Um, and the gameplay is going to be challenging. Uh, there's no doubt. There's a bit of a learning curve with some of the tools and some of the techniques. Uh, but it follows a lot of the very foundational elements and characteristics that Dark Souls games have. Or, or Elden Ring, if you've played Elden Ring. Um, I don't think it's quite as refined as Elden, Elden Ring. Uh, I think it'd be more like a Dark Souls 3. Or a Bloodborne. Actually, this would probably match Bloodborne pretty well. And um, Or Steel Rising, if you played that. I feel like the movements are more refined than Steel Rising. So there's a there's a better level of refinement there already, and this is just a demo. So yeah, this will be coming out in. Uh, I got it written down here. Uh, September nineteenth. So we got uh, still a few months here, but yeah, from what I'm seeing, this is pretty encouraging. Do I think it's going to be worth sixty, seventy bucks? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how big the game is. Um, the hotel actually looks pretty far. Uh, it took me a little less than an hour to get to the boss. Probably about 45 minutes. Or at least the first boss. Uh, and I'm sure the game will progressively get harder. We'll see new enemies. There'll be new boss types. There'll be elemental damage we'll have to deal with. Um, and I enjoy this, the cues in the game, too of like being able to do a critical and when the enemy's charging up and you won't be able to block that uh, you just have to get the frick out of the way so yeah they did take some time to um, definitely do this and design it well graphically it's just it's just great uh, it's so nice I wish I had a TV that could handle up to 60 frames in 4k but <laughs> I don't have that yet so yeah, overall, um, so far with what I've seen, I'd give it at least a 7. Um, I still haven't played very much, so I'm, I'm still reserving the 8 and above for that, to where I've played some more. But yeah, it's a demo, folks. PlayStation or Xbox, uh, and probably even on PC. Um, the demo's available, so it was available as of yesterday. So you folks can download it. Again, it's about 21 gigs. And you can try it out yourself. See what you think. <coughs> and I love it when they actually give demos um, several months ahead of when the actual release date is. Because it gives you a good idea of where the current state is of the game. Instead of just releasing it within a few weeks or maybe a month before the release date. And things are kind of buggy. Like, that's what had me worried about Anthem. I think they released it kind of about two months-ish before the release date itself, and the demo was just not good. Uh, graphically, it didn't run well at all, and things didn't seem refined. And then, yeah, we got to the game, and it was just, it was just trash. So yeah, at least a 7. It's probably going to be above that as I play, and I get a better look at the game. Uh, but so far, yeah, it's Dark Souls, Bloodborne, um, Sekiro mechanics more than anything, and uh, Elden Ring. I mean, yeah, pick, take your pick, but yeah, it's more Sekiro than anything, it feels like. And Perry is definitely going to be more of a thing. Of course, you can see I don't play that way. Uh, but hey, I like a challenge. So I'll definitely be picking this up at some point. Uh, as for the channel... Um, Again, I'll be, uh, I review games, 
and uh, discuss things in the industry, give news, and then to just stream for fun. So if any of that sounds fun for you, yeah, you can also check out my YouTube channel too at Gaming Garbage 22, and um, that'll give you uh, an idea of what the channel is about. A lot of it is broken up in just a playlist, and so you can kind of select whatever you want and uh, and have a gander. But yeah, there's a, a different variety of things there, but pretty much everything's in between those three categories. Um, but, uh, yeah. Oh, it's so nice to have a game that works. And is just encouraging, like, the demo is encouraging instead of just seeing things that are still not refined or kind of buggy. And, yeah, I think this game will release great. It just sucks. You got triple A's that can't get their stuff together. And, you know, even some games that don't even really deserve to be promoted as much as they are. But yeah, this this should work out pretty good. So yeah, if you're a big Dark Souls fan, check this game out. So hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, I just got done also going over the Summer Game Fest showcase. And oh my word, that was four hours of my life I'm not getting back. And uh, it was it was two hours for the for Summerfest. And then there was about another couple of hours after that of a c of two other showcases that they had um and i was on the game uh game rewards channel on youtube and they had two more showcases afterward and i also took time to watch those and so i got to two full sheets here and um <laughs> that's gonna be a long one folks yeah that's gonna the summer summer fest showcase that's gonna be a long video and we're going to have other ones, too. I mean, there's there's going to be another showcase just for a studio. I can't remember the name. It's like An Anahem or Anahel or something like that. Anyway, can't uh, can't quite pronounce it. Uh, but yeah, there will be several more showcases. So we're going to have Xbox. We're going to have Starfield Direct. We're going to have an Ubisoft showcase. And then uh, there's going to be some others sprinkled in there, too. Um, and I don't even know if Nintendo has done theirs yet. But I think they're going to have a showcase as well. So yeah, there will be plenty of more showcases. And this is one thing that is starting to worry me about the whole showcase thing. I definitely think Summerfest is like the primary thing to be a part of. And really show the best of the best of your game. And definitely try to be a part of it. I mean, it was a little over two hours for Pete's sakes. Um, and having the, uh, some of the developers actually talk about their game, too, was really nice. Other showcases, uh, most of the time they don't have that. But still, there's so many showcases. And I think we're gonna have this, um, dilution of quality of showcases. It's kind of like streaming services. There's so many out there. Or, um, inflation. You know, there's too much printed money. And uh, the money just is not as valuable. And so, yeah, I think we're going to have this issue of just too many too many uh, showcases that are trying to be big and popular. And they're going to compete with certain studios. And, of course, studios and console makers, I mean, they're going to want their own showcase, too. And, again, there's nothing wrong with that. But we'll see repeats. Well, you know, a quick quick thing. We saw some games that PlayStation had in their showcase. Also in Summer Game Fest. Uh, but some of the things we saw for Summer Game Fest weren't in the PlayStation 1. And I think it would have benefited PlayStation Showcase more. Especially since it's their flippin' game. Or some of the things they didn't even have in their showcase. But they had at Summerfest. So, like, I don't entirely understand that. And some things we saw duplicates of. It's like, oh, yeah, we're seeing this again. Okay. And, uh, I don't know. Companies are going to have to pick and choose exactly what they want. I think the companies that have their own showcase, everything should just be in their own showcase, and that's it. That, w that would make a little more sense. Try to centralize their content and make it bigger and badder and better. Because, like, I rated PlayStation Showcase. If you haven't watched that yet, I rated that as a D overall. Um, they could have trimmed a ton of stuff. And some of the stuff in Summerfest they should have had in their own showcase. 
yeah, it didn't make a lot of sense. Um, but yeah, next we're going to have Starfield Direct uh, and uh, Bethesda and Xbox. And uh, I think Ubisoft is also going to be later this month. So, yeah, there'll be more coming up, folks. So stay tuned. Uh, go ahead and check out, too, the PlayStation Showcase that's on there. Uh, that's on the Gaming News Playlist on my YouTube channel. And, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. And I'll see y'all on the next one.